financial returns that we are looking for above and beyond the financial returns. Thank you for joining us on this journey. It's going to be very exciting and very action-oriented, and I'm really excited and looking forward to all the discussions we're going to have. As people who know Canada's work uh, will attest gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls are central to our international assistance efforts uh, around the world, but it's a stance that's gained strength since we adopted our feminist international assistance policy in 2017. We speak about our feminist policy often because it's actually fundamental to underpilling all of our development work worldwide, especially for us in the It's important that we have been contributing by the way for more than six years. So how do you build that? Those of you who know the Criterion Institute well and who know Joy, um, there's a there's a common phrase here: fix the capital, not the company. So really working with the investment products so they meet the needs of entrepreneurs and and not vice versa. For this breakout, we have three questions. The first is: What are the challenges that you see in promoting gender lens investing? And go to question three, which is. What role can translation play in addressing gender disparity in investment? In terms of how can we effectively support um, women-led businesses, again, back to the basis, we need to bring the men along in terms of the conversation, in terms of the socialization. We need to have male champions on board. Um, it shouldn't just be women. We need what are the challenges in promoting GLI and how can we effectively support women-led businesses? So first of all, we identified a uh, lack of access to data that would enhance planning. We would like to thank you again for being with us throughout the day.